You ever have those times when you just feel like, what the hell's going on? Especially physically, not to mention all the crap going on in the world right now. I swear to God, Pluto tried to take my ass out yesterday. Seriously. Like I felt, I felt like Pluto tried to take me out. You ever have those days? What the hell? What's really going on? There's a lot going on. Okay. And we're not even going to talk about all the nonsense, you know, people who have money and power. We're not going to talk about that bullshit because that's what that is. Ego trips, power trips. I'm done with all of them. I'm sick of all of them. I'm sick of anybody who claims to be a servant of the people for the people. I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. When I see somebody run for office that doesn't take a goddamn paycheck, when I see somebody run for office that's out there doing the work of the people with the people, when I see somebody out there running for office who's going to live with the people as the people live, that's when I'll say, okay, we found us a servant. Until then, I don't want to hear a damn thing. I'm tired of... Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that, that's my political rant. Now we're going to talk about the astrological stuff and the health. And I bring this up because this, this affects me uh, intimately. I have this chart drawn up for the chart of the moment. I know there's a lot I have on this chart. That's because in my chart, it helps to see what else is in, in play here that I don't know about. And so this is a really cool way of learning. So there's all these extra things I have, but we're not going to focus on that. So just follow my cursor. If you see that little thing there, yeah. Follow my cursor. Uh, let me know about the sound test. I broke down and spent some money, a little bit serious, more money. And that's because of the beautiful people of all astrology who have been, you know, keeping me busy. And by keeping me busy, I can take that money and invest it right back into the channel. And so hopefully uh, the sound is worthy of that. Hopefully you can tell the difference in that and that it's pleasing on your ears because man, Taurus in the North Node, yes, or the North Node in Taurus, that's what this is all about, right? Reevaluating, re reprioritizing, like what's really important, you know? Let's get to the real thing, but it has to do with the nodes, right? And there they are at 22 degrees, 2256, which is actually like 23 degrees, right? If you go by my rule, which is anything over 2225, I'm just checking to see if I'm alone in the house. I think someone's coming home in a little bit and, you know, I can't expect people to not talk while I'm recording. And unfortunately, I think the washing machine is running in the background. So I apologize if you can hear that. Um... But bear with me. We've got the moon right now in Gemini. No surprise there. And it's conjunct Aldebaran. So a very vocal day, right? It's in Gemini. Talking, communication, information, uh, speaking my truth. Absolutely. The moon is on Aldebaran. Just so you all know, Aldebaran is uh, one of those guardian angel stars. I call them the archangels. Okay. So we have uh, these archangels in our charts and up in the sky. And so this is always cool to know. It's always really cool to figure out where that is in your life. Like who's, what, what angel wings are wrapped around you during what moments in life, you know, I mean, you know about them cause you, you survived them, but you're like, wow, how, how beautiful, how awesome. So the star of great power, it can bestow great gifts. This is Aldebaran. Uh, it's at nine degrees and 10 degrees. I'm sorry, 10 degrees in Gemini. And, uh, the moon is conjuncted and it will be conjuncted for the rest of this day. It's like two in the afternoon right now. Uh, P uh, 2 PM central daylight time. So it can bestow great gifts, most notably a charismatic ability to communicate and success as a result. There is a word of caution though. Success can be followed by a fall unless ethics outweigh ambition. Ethics. That's the key word. That's what I'm looking for. I want somebody who's got some goddamn ethics, some ethics. Damn it. I am so freaking tired of people selling other, each other out of people doing what's best for the almighty goddamn dollar. I am so freaking sick of it. How the hell is a paper goddamn dollar more important than a human being's life or any life? any life, two-legged, four-legged, no-legged. I don't give a crap. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like if you're in the hospital, Mr. Almighty Powerful or Mrs. Almighty and Powerful, you're on your deathbed or you need assistance, you need medical care. Who, what, what do you think? That person who's wiping your ass is going to say, is going to look you in the eye and be like, how much money you got in the bank? You want those dollar bills to wipe your ass with? You know what I'm saying? Look, what good is it going to be? What good is it going to do? You can't take the shit with you, right? You can pass it on to your kids and your grandchildren, but holy shit. 
That creates monsters, doesn't it? Anyway, success can be followed by a fall unless ethics outweighs the ambition. Keep that in mind. It's interesting that Aldebaran is really similar to Saturn energy. This is, this is one of the lessons of Saturn. Ethics. Ethics outweighing the ambition. Ethics outweighing your goals. If you cheat to get to the top, if you climb your way to the top on the backs of others or stepping on others' heads, right, or knocking people down on your way up, ethics, you're going to fall. You're going to have a fall. So this star gives fundamentals for worldly success. The moon is conjunct that right now. I think that is important. Think about what you're doing today. What decisions are you making? What conversations are you having? What are you talking to other folks about right now? Or what are you researching? What are you collecting? Because this is Gemini energy. It's taking information in, thinking about it, regurgitating it, and doing something with it. Being like, okay, this makes sense. It's collecting right? It's collecting and organizing data, information, right? Because this is Mercury ruled and Mercury rules Gemini and Virgo. Why does this matter? Because we know that Virgo organizes too, but Virgo is more about organizing objects in the home, things, right? But Mercury is the details, the information details. Virgo is the material details. You follow? This is where we're splitting hairs, folks, okay? Which is fine. So let's get down to the next thing. That's the moon conjunct Aldebaran, which happens quite often, but it just might seem a little bit more powerful today. You know, it is for me anyway. The moon nodes, like I said, 2256, we started there. The node, the north node is where you're going. It is your future. If it's in Taurus, it has to do with your future for your money, which is all based on your values. What are your values for your future? What needs to be of a value to sustain your financial freedom, your financial future, your financial security, better yet, your creature comforts. What is it that you need in your life to sustain your creature comforts? Remember folks, Taurus likes fine things, good things, quality, taste, touch, smell, visuals, hearing, right? That's Taurus energy. We have Uranus conjunct Sappho right now, which I haven't really talked about Sappho at all in astrology with folks, um, but Uranus is conjunct Sappho. Uh, Sappho, I think moves a little bit faster than Uranus. Uranus is new and shocks and surprises, right? It's so it's a new value because it's in Taurus. Okay. Sappho is kind of like a little bit of a Venus energy. Um, it's kind of like, uh, she's a poet. So there's a love of lyrics. It's a feminine energy, very strong feminine energy. And there's a camaraderie among women. Okay. There's a camaraderie. It's also deepest desires and most basic wants. It exaggerates importance of objects of desire, and there can be difficulty understanding how to obtain these objects of desire. Sappho also has a sexual focus. So keep that in mind, folks. Some of y'all out there uh, might be meeting some new people in your life, some new feminine energy. So they could be females or they could be males who have, who exude a, a female quality, right? Now look at this. Mercury is four degrees ahead of the sun. So we're going to be getting some information very soon. Uh, that's probably going to be a shock and a surprise and authority figure. It's going to have to do with the military because it's Aries energy, which is Mars. But look, Mars at 22 on top of Saturn at 22. What's really going on? Did you feel like someone was trying to knock you out and down yesterday? Now, this would have been for folks with Taurus and Scorpio energy, okay? This wouldn't have been for everybody. For others, they were empowered yesterday. Well, when you got Mars and Saturn together, they are empowered. Remember, Mars is the military. It is the soldiers. Uh, it's definitely groups of soldiers because it's in Aquarius, but a lot of the uh, you know, volunteering for, for so volunteering to be a soldier because this is the humanitarian sign. And it is also like, uh, uh, private soldiers, uh, hire for higher soldiers. It's definitely that in conjunct Saturn, Saturn is organizing those within groups and just take a look at Ukraine and what they're doing. They're offering money to people, to Russian soldiers who are willing to turn over their tanks or whatever weapon they possess. They're going to get big money. They can defect get big money, um, start a new life. The Ukraine's going to help them do that. They will place them and help them with transportation to a safe location. But this is fixed, fixed air. And this fixed air at 22 degrees is exactly squaring this node at 22 degrees. 
You see that? Right. They're squaring. 